5 seconds to go. Start after the rampaging virus, flaming prices are the new global scourge. Systematically important central banks that viewed the consistent uptick in inflation as transitory caused by post pandemic supply shocks are now finding it hard to bottle the genie. Expectations that commodity and oil prices would cool down in 2022 as the pandemic ebbed were belied by the Russia-Ukraine conflict which exacerbated existing pressures. Fresh lockdowns in China are also extending the pandemic induced supply chain bottlenecks. What central banks like even less is having to deal with rising inflation in times of weak growth because the primary tool they have to fight it the interest rate hike can be recessionary. Cut to India and you can see domestic inflation broad basing in fiscal 2023. In just two months between February and April, the Reserve Bank of India RBI has sharply revised upwards its consumer price index based CPI inflation forecast to 5.7 percent from 4.5 percent for this fiscal. CPI inflation averaged 6.3 percent in the January-March 2022 above the RBI's target range of 2 to 6 percent. The RBI forecasts inflation for April-June at 6.3 percent, one more quarter over the 6 percent mark and the central bank would owe the government an explanation. But India's inflation unlike in advanced countries where sizable fiscal stimulus also contributed to the heating up of prices has been largely imported via exogenous supply shocks. Pertinently, private consumption demand continues to be the weakest link in gross domestic product GDP growth so far. What is noteworthy though? is that the drivers of inflation are morphing. In fiscal 2021, inflationary pressures came largely from food and to some extent core which excludes fuel and food. Back then, fuel inflation was quite benign. In fiscal 2022, crude prices hardened to emerge as the new driver. Core inflation formed up further. But the drop in food inflation offset this, so overall inflation was lower at 5.5 percent compared with 6.2 percent the previous year. What makes this fiscal worrying is all three are firmly pointing in the same direction up. Truly, the inflation hydra is on the horizon. A breakdown by each component helps clarify this. Fuel inflation in double digits for a year now shows no signs of easing. Energy prices have risen sharply across the board from crude oil to coal and natural gas. The cut in excise duties on petrol and diesel in November 2021 is in insufficient to bring down fuel inflation in the event crude prices stay above $1.90 per barrel this fiscal. We also expect some delayed pass through from last fiscal given that prices of petrol, diesel, liquefied petroleum gas and compressed natural gas were kept uncharged between November and March despite rising international prices. Food is the most volatile component and biggest mover of CPI inflation given that it occupies 39 percent weight in the average consumption basket. On the positive side, India looks set to enjoy a fourth successive year of stocks of rice and wheat, but the monsoon is yet to play out and its distribution is always a bit of a wild card. Some other factors that 
adversely influence output and prices such as the recent heat wave that is projected to impact wheat yields this year are creeping up stock.